You, yes, you. Commander Karanet needs you immediately. The Malmer attacked Katzai Key from the sea. Commander Karanith holds the line at the docks. She needs help stopping the Malmer before they push into Mistral. Zaire will find more to help. Be swift, slow paws. Move with purpose, slow paws. Only the fleet of foot survive. Quite right, my dear. It is a good thing Vice Reeve Paladil was here to put them in their place. You there. The Marmor attacked Cat's Eye Key with their Sea Viper forces. We need every able body for the rescue effort. Huh. A counterattack. I'd settle for an organized defense. Our forces are scattered too thin. If we can't hold the gates, Mistral will fall to the Marmor. I'll coordinate Dominion forces from here, but I can't lock down this gate until the survivors clear out of the market. Send them my way. We need everyone able to defend Mistral on this side of the wall. No time to lose. Send any survivors this way and head to the inner gate. Snakes! Giant snakes coming from the sea! Those Malma pirates came from the water. They're all over Cat's Eye Key. Sea vipers happened. One must have struck me on the head. When I woke, a sea viper was carving strange runes on my bodyguard's skin. I hit that awful pirate with a broken spar and we ran. No, we can still move. We'll head to Mistral if it's safe there. By the eight, it's inspiring to see Dominion soldiers. Maybe Sergeant Firion can pull off her counterattack. The Marine by the gate to Cat's Eye Key plans to strike back at the Sea Vipers. I'm sure she can tell you the details. We'll get moving. Gods grant you strength. Those Malma pirates came from the water. Not one sea viper will make it through this door. What are you doing here? That doesn't matter. If you're in the mood to cave in some sea viper skulls, I don't really care. We can't let those Marama pirates reach Mistral. They'll butcher our families. I saw great serpents emerge from the waters. Those sea viper cowards made them snap at everyone in striking distance. No. When I saw my neighbors fall, I ran. What kind of Khajiit am I? You were with Dominion, yes? Your Sergeant Firian plans to strike back. Give those pirate cowards a taunting. I'll do no such thing. If any of those sea vipers shows a face on this side of the gate, I'll claw it off myself. We can't let those Marama pirates reach Mistral. They'll butcher our family. Not one sea viper will make it through this door. I went to the Malmor Embassy. I thought they might know a method to free Rorelian from the Temple of the Morning Springs. Instead, I found them attacking Cat's Eye Key. I couldn't stand by and let that happen. What are you doing here? That doesn't matter. If you're in the mood to cave in some sea viper skulls, I don't really care. You feel that cold air rushing off the sea? Just like it was before the hurricane. We can't wait to cut off the snake's head. We are the Dominion counterattack. 
I sent my squad to scout Cat's eye key. If they haven't learned with the Sea Viper's plan, we can poke around until we figure out what needs chopping. Don't worry, your wizard friend can seal the gate behind us. I'll hold the gate, if you think you'll have need for a wizard. Or you could bring a Dominion Marine. Up to you. Don't take too long. The sooner we hit the Sea Vipers, the sooner we stop their plans. You ready to go? I don't know what the Sea Vipers plan, but I doubt we have much time to stop them. I'll hold the gate, if you think you'll have need for a wizard. Or you could bring a Dominion Marine. Up to you. You aided me at the Temple of the Morning Springs. I'd be a fool not to return the favor. Whatever the Sea Vipers plan, we should hurry. You've already proven your courage. If I'm to die in this battle, I'd rather it be at your side than alone on this beach. But we won't let it come to that. If you can hold the Sea Vipers' attention, I'll do what I can to keep you on your feet. Think quickly. I can't tell what magics the Sea Vipers are brewing, but I know they can't be good for Mistral. You aided me at the temple. You've already proven your courage. Then let's go. There'll be no more death at Malmor hands. Keep an eye out for my soldiers. I'm sure they'll help you hook some fish elves. We have to keep the Sea Vipers out of Mistral. We must hurry. Can you do anything to help? We can't let those Maramok... I suggest we search for survivors. In these situations, most people will try to stay hidden. Perhaps the buildings will yield results. Squad got separated. Nistel and I found Onglorn. They hurt him bad. Sea Vipers carved runes in his chest. I grabbed him. Nistel held them off. Hunting Sea Vipers. If you see her, tell her Onglorn will be all right. Hey. Squad got separated. Sea Viper. Hunting Sea Viper. Saw a lot of them near the docks. Try there. I suggest we sit.
I suggest we... A ringing head is bad. But when it remains somewhat head-shaped, <laughs> that is good, yes? I was in the caves, working, when I heard a strange howling. Then warriors came out of nowhere and struck without mercy. Sea vipers, Maoromar pirates. We paid protection through the month and let them put those strange totems in our cave. They've never been in the skuma trade. Uh, I, I meant moon sugar. Hit my head, you see. Our deaths, I suppose? After they killed enough of us, they left the rest of us alone. They knew we wouldn't fight back. They only paid attention to those totems. Well, until they collapsed the cave entrance. Some high elf wizard tried to get in, so they collapsed it. I dove outside. Lucky me. The wizard tried to tell me something, but I couldn't hear him at all. He stuffed this paper in my hands and walked off. Here, maybe you can make sense of it. Uh, what's that? My ears were ringing. Would you mind repeating the obvious? Wait, wait, don't think me ungrateful. The wizard was looking for another way into the caves. I heard rumors of a secret door by the cliffs, but I never saw it myself. There must be another way into the caves. Perhaps there's a passage near the cliff walls. If I never see Eelstil again, it'll be too soon. seem to harness a combination of wind and spirit. I wonder if I can... Excuse me, do you mind? Indeed, I suppose that's optimal. These sea viper rituals are barbaric, but quite effective. The hurricane they summoned to dash our fleet against Kanapi's roost? That's nothing compared to their current efforts. You clearly haven't studied the fundamentals of blood sacrifice. You see, these serpent-shaped statues, they're storm totems. They collect spirit energies from rune-marked subjects and channel it, like water through a funnel. Exactly the right question. It seems the sea vipers use a specialized lodestone to block the channel. Approach an active storm totem, hold forth the lodestone, and harmlessly siphon the energy away. You should see for yourself. Completely. Go ahead, don't be shy. Uh, it's not as though the Storm Totem's energies will cascade throughout your body until you're nothing but a lifeless, smoking husk. <laughs> but do avoid standing in the puddles, would you? Go ahead. Try the Lodestone on the Storm Totems. I'm certain you'll be fine. Uh, nearly certain. Sixty percent certain. Conservatively. <laughs> Eelsil is using you to test his theory. Have no fear. I'll tend any wounds you sustain. <laughs> Eelsil's plan worked. I don't know what to say. 
phenomenal. I knew proximity was the key. And look at you, not even a hint of electrocution. You have the principle. Now to apply it to the other storm totems before... Well, best not to worry about that. Uh, no, I really shouldn't worry you. I can't say for certain. It's one of two things, neither of which is good for anyone on this island. You don't stoop to blood sacrifice unless you need a lot of energy very quickly. And, well, to release it just as quickly. Listen, you handle the storm totems. I'll determine how to best counteract the Sea Viper blood ritual without destroying Mistral. Does that seem equitable? The only certainty is the lack of time. You should hurry. Don't worry about my safety. I'll be perfectly fine. You'll still may be right. We should channel the energies away from those storm totems. This is Eelsil, speaking directly to your mind. Find my Sigic projection near the tunnel exit. I know how to stop the Marma. I heard Eelsil's message. If we find his Sigic projection, we can stop the ritual. I know what they're planning. Through my Sigil projection, I observed an old ritual site north of Mistral. The Sea Vipers summoned a powerful creature known as a Storm Atronach. They're funneling all that energy into their bound Storm Slave. 
the creature can only hold so much energy before it discorporates. All the energy will wash over Kanathi's roost, killing anything it touches. Except for the Thunderbugs, of course. Oh, and the mountain north of Mistral will shatter, leaving no trace of the town. Ha! <laughs> ah, there's the genius of their plan! How do you bind a creature made of storm energies? With the wind itself! Three ritual horns trap Storm Slave. But the Lodestone now has enough storm energy to counteract the false winds! Elegant, yes? It will shed its corporeal form and safely release its stored energy. Uh, by safely, I mean in relation to Kanathi's roost. I recommend moving a fair distance away from Storm Slave when this happens. Perhaps keeping solid rock between it and yourself? You'll have no trouble. But in the event you do, I've opened a portal at a distance of one league from Kanathi's roost. There I'll tread water in the open sea until I've observed your success. Merely a precaution. I have every confidence. The ritual site is beyond the door. Keep that lodestone close at hand for those ritual hordes. We should stop the Sea Viper ritual before they destroy all life on Kanathi's roost. It never gets easier, does it? I've read about such things, but the books don't do it justice. We should stop the Sea Viper ritual before they destroy all life on Kanathi's roost. It never gets easier, does it? the sea. Your bonds cannot hold the tempest. Come, you must leave this place. Follow me. You're quite handy at defeating Malma's sorcery. I hope to see you again. Hopefully with Varelian at my side. You're slow, but you turn the tide of battle. Zaire admits that counts for something. I ran out of Malma to kill. If you find any more, let me know. I suppose I'll mourn the Sylvanar. I must find oils for his body, and tools for the rites. I can almost feel his hand on mine, and hear him whisper, all things find their way. But they won't. He's gone forever. And soon, I'm to follow. The Sylvanar sustains the Green Lady. Thus has it always been with every pair. I am not long for this world. 
I believe I'll find the Maumas home island. Before my beloved pulls me back to the green, I'll drown them in a tide of Mara's tears. Today you saved Mistral from destruction. Kenarthi herself must watch over you. It's done. The Sea Vipers are defeated. I should feel like we won, shouldn't I? My friend, to escape death so triumphantly is constant thrill, yes? Not so thrilling for the Maumar, of course. The Maumar are fled or dead thanks to your efforts. Canarthi's roost is safe and voluntarily a part of the Ald Mary Dominion. So if you must know, Razumdar keeps an eye on promising people. What do you think happened? If Raz had known you would do so well, he would have scrounged you a nicer reward. Apologies. The Mistral Armory is not what it once was. The Maumur are like drunken uncle. Chase them off, and they always come back. Next time, Kenarthi will be waiting for them. Problem is, there are places that will not be so prepared. I'm weakening. You're quite handy at defeating Maumur's sorcerers. You're slow. Today you see. I ran out of Maumut. 